Now this middle part is removable. Take two. And we can remove this. Here is an aircraft panel with three removable faceplate sections. Let's look at the center one. Held in with seven screws, there's one up here, this panel can be quickly taken off. Notice the two black strips, that's simply Velcro to hold on a panel display like an iPad or similar, and a optional power cord. But with these seven screws this panel comes off and provides wonderful access to behind the panel getting to the left side or to the right side. The strip at the bottom is not included with the removable panel so that we don't disturb the controls or switches down there. They remain. On the left and the right side we have another panel that is removed with screws except for the bottom strip and we've left enough wires so that the instruments can come towards us and same with the right side. This panel goes all the way to the edge is removed with screws and the instruments come forward. We can do quite a bit with just removing the center section and still get access to the left and to the right. Let's try that. Now after removing the screws this panel comes out and what's nice is we have great access behind the panel and I can get to either side can almost get my head in there to do repairs, modifications, changes, or if I decide later that I want to put an instrument into this, I can drill my holes or I can replace this with another one. And the same with these panels here. These screws come out and this whole section comes off and the same with this section over here if I ever want to completely redo the panel. Note that I simply have some L angles back to back and that was the surface for the screws. In this case I have these uh, nut plates in place. It's good to keep this shape on file so that you can duplicate it later and replace it quickly if you ever want to make a change without taking your panel apart. In fact, here's my spare. I always keep this around. Now this will fit perfectly here or if I flip it around the other way it'll fit here because my left and right sections are identical. But this way I can create a whole new piece with new instruments and have it ready to bolt into place. And same with the middle piece. Now here's what I did with my panel. It's actually very simple. I, I cut out an opening leaving about three quarters of an inch around the perimeter and saved a couple inches at the bottom. Cut that all open, used a combination of my snips and a Dremel tool to cut around. Very rough opening. This will be hidden later. And on the rear, if we turn it around, I mounted a pair of standard L angles back to back and then just riveted them in both of these locations. The idea is that I'm creating three bays and this is simply a reinforcement and this will provide the surface to mount each of the three panels that I place on here. I did countersink these just using a dimpler 
and then put in the rivets so that they're basically flush in case I want to cover. Well, obviously this up here will be covered, so it just helps to have these flush. And also on the rear, turn it around again, for reinforcement, it's hard to see, but I placed a doubler, and this is just a, I believe it's a 32 thousandths strip of aluminum on top of the existing panel. In fact, you can see it protruding here. I made it just a little bit taller than the cutout, so I have a little more surface for mounting the screws later on. And then the idea is going to be that I cut out some additional, and I believe this is 32 thou aluminum, and they will fit right on here. And then we have a center one which will fit here. Here is the completed panel with all the screws in place. Now we can fit this in and at any time remove the panel and drill the holes for our instruments. I was never really sure whether I'd take advantage of this removable panel feature. However, I am changing engines and it turns out that quite a few of the controls are going to go away and or change and there's quite a bit of electrical change because of that. This opening is really going to make it a lot easier for me as opposed to having to start over with a whole new panel or worse yet working on your back underneath. Try that sometime. Oh boy. <laughs>